everyone, this is Leanne, editor from Understone Group, and today I'm going to do my first ever book tag. I've seen book tags floating around all kinds of YouTuber or booktubers channels, and I thought I'd try one out. So the one I picked was the beautiful book covers tag, and so let's get started. The first question is choose five of the most beautiful books from your collection. The first one I have here is Snowflower and the Secret Fan by Lisa C. Um, Lisa C is one of my favorite writers, and I just really liked the cover of this because it kind of evokes the simplistic beauty that's evident in a lot of, that I've seen, like East Asian, Chinese, Japanese art, and it's more so about the feeling, and so I thought it kind of went well with the, um, the story itself. It's based in China, and um, yeah, it's a really great book too, so I really like this cover. My next book is Girl with Pearl Earring by Tracy Chevalier, and this is one of my all-time favorite books. I really love the story. Um, the cover I really like because it's my favorite art piece. I'm a huge fan of Johannes Vermeer. He's my favorite artist, and um, I just I had to include this just because I really like the cover because it has my favorite painting on it. So yes, I really love this book. My next book is Dolly by Susan Hill. And when I first saw these online, I just had to buy them because I really like the woodcut style and just, they just look really pretty. And uh, I say they because I got this and um, the woman in black as a little coupling. But I just really like the style of these. They're just ornate and I like the size of them too. They're, they're not huge and just that was also appealing. So, and this one's green, so I really like the color green. So yes, here's Dolly. My next book is one of the oldest books in my collection, and that is Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. And um, it's just very classic looking. It's cloth bound, and I think the artwork is pretty because it's very, it's a painting, and I don't know, I like stuff that looks like it was done by hand. So, and you can see <laughs> on the picture, you can see, I guess I um, had paper over top of this and I was writing, and you can see like little check marks. So I don't know what I was checking off, but this is one of my favorite books too, and it's, it's really pretty, I think. I like the color, and yeah, cloth bound is good. I like cloth bound. My fifth book for the first question is The Sandman by Neil Gaiman and Yoshitaka Amano. Well, written by Neil Gaiman and illustrated by Yoshitaka Amano. My aunt gave this to me, and I love the art style. The cover's really pretty. It's shiny but it's not tacky looking, and um, I don't, it's once again just hand-drawn artwork is something I always appreciate, so, and the art style in this is so pretty, and Yoshitaka Amano is one of my favorite artists as well, so yeah, I had to include this one. The next request is choose a beautiful book that features your most favorite color. It's hard for me to pick a favorite color, it's hard for me to pick a favorite anything really. Usually when I say I have a favorite, that means I have like 10 or 15 other favorites that are on like the same level. So I tend to go for jewel tones or deep tones of color. I don't know, I just appreciate those more. Kind of like my favorite color, I guess the related to this book is like the color of this cardigan. So um, it's an Edward Gorey book, St. Melissa the Modeled, and just the, that color is one of my favorite ones. I like the deep wine red colors. And uh, this book is weird. Uh, when I first read it, I didn't really know what the point of it was, so I need to read it a couple more times, I guess. It's like the most confusing Edward Gorey book I've ever read thus far, but it's in my collection because I'm collecting, trying to collect all the pomegranate books, so I had to include it. So, yeah, favorite color. The next request is choose a beautiful book that features your least favorite color, and coincidentally, it's also another Edward Gorey book, and that is The Doubtful Guest. I can't stand the color yellow. I just, I've never liked it. Um, when I saw the movie Sin City for the first time, that further, you know, proved my point as to why I don't like the color yellow. I had an art, my high school art teacher told me that when she was in college, one of her art professors taught her that the color yellow was the color of the criminally insane. So I was like, oh, more justification why I don't like the color yellow. So, doubtful guest, Edward Gorey, I don't like this color. The next request is choose your favorite cover of a classic. So I have one that's not a straight. This is the classic book, um, but it's, you know, it's a visual interpretation. It's a graphic novel version. 
and I picked Sense and Sensibility by Marvel. And I just love, I love the drawing style, and this is a really pretty color. You've got, you know, this, the seriousness up here, and it's all elegant and pretty. And then down here, for like major, for complicated scenes where you have to have a whole bunch of people in one panel, they have these adorable little, um, almost kind of chibi style, but not chibi. It's got like their own spin to it, and they're just really cute. Yeah, I really like this book. It still has a bookmark hanging out of it, too. <laughs> But yes, um, I, I really like stuff like this, taking classics and turning them into graphic novel form, so I wanted to include this one, so this is my classic. Next is choose your favorite cover of a children's book. Most of my children's books are at my parents' house, in my closet, in my old room, so I don't have them with me. But I do have uh, three on my bookshelf right now that I would consider kids' books, and the one that I picked is one that I most recently Bought, found it at Goodwill for like two bucks, and it's a hardback, and it's uh, The Clockwork Three by, Bath by Matthew J. Kirby. It's a really fun read, I really liked it. Um, I love steampunk, so when I saw this and read the back, I didn't think it sounded too cheesy or forced, you know, this is so steampunk, look at these gears, it's, you know, it, 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 I think it worked really well. So I really like the cover as well, it's, you know, and the the man, the automaton, isn't in it as much as I thought it was going to be, but that was okay because it still worked out fine. I really like the book still, so, and I like the cover. So, you know, there you go, Clockwork 3. And the first question I've encountered in this tag is, do you often buy books based solely on a beautiful cover? Um, this answer can vary, I suppose. If I know it's a good book, but the cover isn't appealing to me. I don't think it's going to prevent me from buying it. Um, if it's a book I really like and it has another edition of a really, really pretty book cover, I might get it depending on how much it costs. So it doesn't really, I don't really pay attention to, or the, uh, I do pay attention to, but it doesn't have that strong of an effect on me on whether or not I'm going I'm to buy a book. So if I like the book, I'll buy it. It doesn't, I don't know. I'm kind of easy going with all this stuff, so it, it doesn't bother me if the book cover isn't gorgeous. And then last but not least, I'm going to read this one from the paper because it's kind of long. Out of every book that you own, which book best exemplifies your idea of a beautiful book? This is like asking me what's my favorite blah blah blah. I can't just, I can't just pick one thing that is exemplary of my visual taste of what a book cover should be. Uh, it varies. It can look Two books can look totally different from each other, but I can find them equally attractive. So, but the two, I've mentioned these in, in this video and another video, um, my Susan Hill books, Dolly and Woman in Black. I just really like how they look and their size is just so appealing to me. I don't know. I like the woodcut look. They're artsy and just the simple use of only like three colors. It works really well, and they have a spooky tone to them, and they're spooky stories, so I really like these covers. I think they they just look good with each other, so I'm glad I have them on my bookshelf. So that is it for my Beautiful Book Covers book tag. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out some other the channels on the Growlout YouTube. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll probably see you again in the future. Bye! my Ariel Bissette t-shirt and I love it because it's so cute and I really like her channel Ariel you're really awesome so I'm happy to support you I love your shirt and I got the bookmarks too those are really fantastic as well so yeah that's it